Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into the video on this 2020 Jeep Cherokee. This particular Cherokee is the limited trim level. It's one of the highest trim levels offered for the Cherokee. Going to give you a full leather interior and lots of other options that we'll go through as we go around the video. Starting up front, you have that classic seven slot Jeep grille there, chrome outlines, your uh, high intensity uh, headlamps to either side, as well as the fog lights inlaid into the lower bumper, surrounded by a nice chrome accent as well. Under the hood in this car, uh, SUV, you will find the 3.2 liter V6 engine. That is the larger engine offered in the Cherokee. They offer two. They offer a 2.4 liter four cylinder and a 3.2 liter six cylinder. Um, in my personal opinion, the difference in gas mileage is not super significant, but the difference in power that the 3.2 gives you um, is, is a really big bump. Uh, makes this a pretty nice running SUV. Of course, this is uh, four wheel drive. Uh, being a Jeep, the vast majority of them are four wheel drive and it does have the Jeep Select Terrain Management System as well. Looking down, you're gonna see a Continental Pro Contact tire wrapped around an 18 inch rim. It's got that standard polished alloy on the outside here with the uh, sort of smoked painted insert uh, on the inside. Black molded plastic does run, run the length of the vehicle on the bottom there to protect it from rocks and things that might get thrown up off the road. Down on the uh, passenger door here, you'll also see the Cherokee badging. Uh, moving up, you're gonna see a body-colored uh, mirror cap with a uh, door, or excuse me, a uh, integrated turn signal in it. On the inside of that mirror, you're gonna find a little triangle right here. It's kind of hard to see. That is your blind spot monitor. If there's a vehicle in your blind spot, that will light up orange to alert you of that fact. You can also see the little heated mirror emblem down here to indicate that the mirrors are heated. Both the front doors are gonna have this little black button on it. That's your proximity unlock system. You have the key in your pocket and you press that button, it will unlock the vehicle for you. Matching rim and tire there in the back. All of your Jeep 4x4 and limited badging back here. You can also see where your backup camera is mounted right in here under the Jeep symbol. Four proximity sensors across the back of the bumper. Uh, in addition to the backup camera, that really just helps you maneuver this vehicle in and out of tight spaces and lets you know what's behind you in your environment. Matching rims and tires, all four tires and rims do match. They're all those Continental Pro Contact tires. Um, they all have, I would say, seven to eight, 30 seconds at least of tread left on them. Lots of depth left there, uh, at least uh, three to four times the state minimum. All your power windows, locks, and mirrors here on the driver door, as well as the memory functions for your mirrors and seats, or mirrors and seat. Um, this is so that multiple drivers can drive this vehicle, set their own profile, and you don't have to get back in and individually adjust all the settings. You just push the button that indicates your profile, and the vehicle moves your mirrors and seat back to where they belong. Set all the power windows here with your uh, power window lockouts for children there. Both of the front seats are obviously full leather heated seats, and they are full power 10-way adjustable seats with a four-way power adjustable lumbar, excuse me, an eight-way power adjustable seat with a four-way adjustable lumbar. Um, so lots of ways to get comfortable in that seat there. Uh, here you're gonna see your light controls. It does have obviously automatic light control, your instrument cluster brightness and interior brightness, and then um, your hatch to pop your power hatch. It does have a fully power hatch back there. Jumping into the vehicle, put your foot on the brake, press the start button here. Just under 15,000 miles on it, uh, 14,879 as we shoot the video here. Um, on the left hand side, you're going to see your menu navigation as well as your Bluetooth controls. Right hand side, you're going to find your cruise control items. Coming into the center stack, um, let's accept the little user agreement there. Uh, start on the left hand side and work our way over. You do have AM, FM radio as well as satellite radio. In addition to that, you can uh, bring audio in via USB port, uh, Bluetooth audio from your phone to the vehicle, or use an auxiliary port that's available down below. On the climate side of things, you have dual zone automatic climate control. Both the driver and the passenger can have their own dedicated climate zone, uh, or if you choose to do so, you could set it to a temperature over here, hit the sync button, and then you could hit auto, and uh, it will try to hold that just like your house would. It's worth noting that these controls are actually duplicated down below in physical buttons. Um, whatever makes you feel more comfortable, you can either use them down here or you can use them up here. From the climate area, you can also access your heated seats and steering wheel buttons. You can also do that by pressing the controls button. Um, both the driver and the passenger have the two function heated seats with a high and a low. The driver obviously has a heated steering wheel. And then if you so desired, you can act activate your backup camera to show you what's behind you uh, at any point in time. 
you click on the apps, it just shows you a list of everything. Um, you can actually change these buttons if you wish to do so um, and put certain other things down here in your hotbar. If you wanted to put your driver's seat button down here in your hotbar uh, instead of, say, radio or something like that, you could do that. Um, lots of option, options there. It does have the compass feature built into it. It does not have navigation. Um, continuing on down, like I said, physical buttons down here for your radio and climate. The select track uh, terrain management system from Jeep that I mentioned um, that locks it in four-wheel drive. Also adjusts your traction control and analog braking system um, for any of these three different uh, terrains. Snow, sp uh, sport mode, and then sand and mud. Um, sport mode actually may not throw it in four-wheel drive. That might just be a transmission shift adjustment. But the other two, put it in four-wheel drive and adjust the way that your analog brakes work and a couple other things. USB and auxiliary here, as well as a 12-volt power supply beside that. Of course, your transmission uh, shifter here. Throw it in reverse. You can see that nice black backup camera there. Pull it the whole way down to drive, and then you can pop it over, and then you have your manual sport shift mode there. You can manually select your gears up and down. Uh, it is worth noting that the car will not let you blow it up or stall it. It will not let you do those shifts if it's going to do either of those things. Your uh, parking brake here vehicle does come with two keys we sell all our cars, cars with two keys it's about a $300 value per key to get these from Jeep um, so definitely a, a worthwhile consideration um, lock unlock your uh, hatch power hatch and then your remote start equipped on these keys on the back if you flip them over you pull this little tab pull the key out um, it is a physical key that would allow you to get into the car in the event of the car or the remote being dead um, and there's a certain place in the vehicle where you can put this even if the fob's dead where it will still start the car. It's different on every car. Sometimes it's the cup holders. Sometimes it goes down in there. I would have to look at the manual on this particular vehicle. Um, but you can still do it even if the fob is dead. Let's turn it off. Take a quick look at the Carfax. No accidents, uh, no damage. It was a Carfax one owner vehicle. Um, obviously, it was pretty low miles, only has one service history record. It was a previous rental vehicle, and it was registered in the states of Oklahoma and Pennsylvania, uh, which is not uncommon for a rental company to do that sort of registration. Quick look at the original window sticker. you are able to print that for you. You're also able to access it from the Carfax. Um, you can see that the original MSRP was just over $36,000. Um, miles per gallon, uh, 22 uh, combined with 19 in the city, 27 in the highway. Um, and then overall, four-star crash test rating um, with some five stars mixed in there for different uh, various ratings. Last part of the video, it's going to be a quick walk around, show you any dents, dings, or imperfections on the vehicle. Overall, as you would expect, it's a 2020, it's super clean, but I'm going to do my best to point out any issues Coming across there, I thought there were some chips there, but a lot of that was just dust. There's a little bit of, just little tiny marks up out here. Nothing real big. Um, overall, clean car. If you'd like to stop out and take a look at it, you can stop out and see us at 21518 Great Cove Road, McCollinsburg, Pennsylvania. Visit us online at allthingsautomotive.com or give us a call 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you found it to be informative.